Hello and welcome. Today we're going to cover gathering an InfiniTV diagnostic capture and submitting a help ticket. Let's begin by opening the InfiniTV diagnostic tool. Once the tool loads, we're going to scroll up to the Diagnose tab. Here you can enter all the information for what problem or issue that you're experiencing. Please be as descriptive as possible as this will help us troubleshoot the problem. Once the information has been filled out, there's a section below here for channel numbers. I'm going to go ahead and type all. But if you do happen to have a specific channel that is a problem, please put that information in there. You can select time and date the problem occurred, your cable provider, and a zip code or city in which you live in. Once that's all done, click the collect information button. The process can take about five minutes, so we're going to go ahead and pause the video and we'll be right back. Once it completes, it will automatically open a save window. We're going to go ahead and save the diagnostic to the desktop and close the diagnostic tool. Once that's complete, we're going to go over and open a web browser. Go up to the address box and we're going to type in www.seatoncorp.com. This will open our company's website. We're going to move over to the support tab and down and click on submit support ticket. This will bring you here. Submit a ticket. Select department, tech support, next, and your ticket detail information. Uh, once again, we ask that you be as detailed as possible as it will help our support engineers troubleshoot your problem. Uh, we ask for your full name, your best reachable email address, the cable company name, and a phone number. We do ask for a real phone number as our support engineers um, we'll call you if we need to speak with you directly uh, and go ahead and put a subject once again a des as descriptive as possible and the body of the message uh, describe exactly what the problem is any error messages you might be receiving or any sort of uh, windows messages any anything you think might be applicable to the problem that you're experiencing we please ask that you put that information in the subject box here now as we scroll down, you'll notice there's some knowledge base suggestions. These may apply or may not. If they do, please select them and take a look. Down below here, we're going to upload the diagnostic capture we took. Click Add File. Click Browse. And we're going to browse out to the desktop. And we'll click the diagnostic capture. Select it. Click Open. And go down and click Submit. Your request has been received. You will be receiving an automated message letting you know that uh, the ticket has been submitted. Uh, we do respond within 24 hours to your, uh, to your ticket. Please note that some email servers may mistakenly mark email responses to tickets as spam. So please do check to make sure you've received, a, received our automated email because if you have not, it's not likely that you'll get responses from the support engineers either. Uh, down below, there's a, a link that will take you directly to the ticket system. You can log in and check your information there as well. Your ticket ID, your name, and email address are listed there, as is the description of the problem. Uh, we look forward to helping you, and I hope you enjoy your Infinity TV.